if you have content that is whittled down to short snippets. Also works very, very well at this time in a Facebook environment. This is a two minute video. Uh, this is keyboard cat. You know, this is the minute long of the cat playing or the honey badgers and things like that. So there's definitely user generated content we see. So that's not really like at a brand level. But, you know, if you think of uh, Mad Men, for example, I see does great things. That, that shows up in my newsfeed all the time and says, let's look at, um, you know, these are scenes from the next episode or extended things that you wouldn't be able to see unless you were viewing it through here. That also tends to be, you know, dangling the carrot in some capacity. Watch this video and you will get some sort of extension of your offline viewing experience. One of the biggest buzzwords or, you know, buzz terms over the past few years has been attribution modeling. How much money and how much focus should we put into advertising and promotion with TV, print, uh, you know, online and then even within online direct response advertising, branding advertising, and so on and so forth. As far as video and how that fits into social media, at this stage you have, you know, a, a lot of, there's been a lot of focus. I work with a lot of companies that are definitely looking at how do we go about quantifying that and mixing that in. But I've definitely seen a lot of value that comes from having those fans and friends of fans that are now liking your page and you're able to actually communicate directly with them uh, with your, your video assets. Okay, so TV channels, trailers for movies. Uh, again, think of like those short snippets or extras that are being offered. It's really less about, I mean, how many people are sitting there watching a two hour long movie within their Facebook newsfeed? I mean, maybe, right? But I haven't seen a lot of that. It's really about using those little extras again, going back to the dangling of the carrot to be like, if you watch this. And then eventually you're driving people back to your brand pages on Facebook. So let's say going back to that own media and what types of things can be consumed and then even eventually drive them to uh, the places where they could consume your video content on, you know, off of Facebook. So that type of mix, we've seen great success and I think we'll continue to see that moving forward, especially as you talked about those seven hours a month that people spend on Facebook. Um, that's a lot of their time, you know, look again, 40% of that on the news feed, a lot of that on, you know, uh, photos as well, but there's no reason that that can't be translated into video if Facebook ends up working with the brands themselves and is able to deliver compelling content in a compelling way. It can't just be content, it has to be delivered, I mean, with people with their iPads and all the different ways you consume it. The viewing experience also has to catch up with the actual content itself. Online advertising or online marketing in general is not just about direct response, which is really about, again, driving sales. It's about branding. Okay, this is one of the big, let's call it even an evolution at this point of online marketing and the dollars and how people should be judging it, is that all of those impressions, all of that chatter, as much as being able to, let's say, you know, connect the ROI directly back to, well, how many people tweeted about what happened on Family Guy tonight, is you have to remember that those types of impressions, that all matters. Going back into just classic advertising metrics with television or impressions of a billboard, right? All of those, every time that they hit you with an impression, when they're coming up with the appropriate reach and frequency and all that type of stuff, the engagement around the brand, there is great value in that. It's just more latent value and it would be much more qualitative, right? So getting beyond just even sentiment because not all publicity is necessarily good publicity. Some of it could be bad, right? regardless of what the newspapers might say right back in the day. But that is a very important factor of just thinking of if we are in the conversation, does that drive us to be closer to top of mind for people? So at a later date sometime, they will have better brand recall, favorability, likelihood of purchase, all of these different types of, you know, the big brand metrics that the brand marketers go for. So considering the fact that 70% of all advertising and marketing dollars worldwide are spent on branding advertising. Being involved in social media conversation just based on how, uh, you know, how ubiquitous that has become and how, how engaged people are with that. As much as, it's not as simple as three tweets equals one sale or anything like that. I mean, and listen, maybe that, that type of metric will come about, but at this time, uh, you know, there are ways to be able to quantify it in, in a vacuum, but in general, there's clearly value and lift that comes from being involved in that conversation and having a presence.